Okay, today we're going to speak about another key. Another key to practicing or living Islam. And that is to not become overconfident in your relationship with Allah. I repeat, to not become overconfident in your relationship with Allah. One of the keys to practicing Islam, guys, is to never overestimate your relationship with Allah. But unfortunately, there are many, many Muslims today who fall victim to overconfidence in their relationship with Allah. They believe that just because they are fulfilling their obligations to him, just because I pray my prayers every day, just because I fast during Ramadan, just because I wear hijab, just because I give in charity, this means that I have reached the level of closeness needed with the law. And they will even go so far as to think that they are now allies of Allah. But the reality is this, guys. The simple fact that a person would think that they have reached this level of closeness with Allah proves that they are not his allies. And also it proves that their relationship with Allah is not as good as they think it is. Listen to what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in an authentic hadith. He said the people of paradise will not regret anything except one thing and that is they will regret that the hour passed them by and they did not have a chance to remember Allah subhanahu Allah so thus guys the true believer never believes himself to have done enough the true believer feels that his good deeds are never enough and he never feels overconfident in his relationship with Allah and the reason why is because overconfidence comes from none other than shaitan and this is one of the ways in which shaitan attempts to dupe the true believer and take him to hell Remember, guys, we talked about in a previous class how shaitan tries to give the believer a false sense of hope as a means of pulling him away from Allah because he knows that this false sense of hope becomes arrogance and he knows that arrogance leads to the destruction of whoever possesses it. So thus, overconfidence is something that the true believer stays away from because overconfidence is nothing more than a beautified term for arrogance. And our prophet has told us that anyone with an ounce of arrogance will never be removed from the hellfire. Listen to what Allah has said in a beautiful hadith kutsi. He said, pride or arrogance, it is my cloak and greatness is my robe. And he who competes with me in respect of either of these things, I shall cast him into the hell fire. We have to remember, guys, it was Shaitan's overconfidence or arrogance that caused him to be kicked out of paradise and damned forever when he refused to bow when commanded by Allah. He thought that his relationship with Allah was so good that he could defy him and refuse to bow down to Adam. This is an example as to how we should never overestimate our relationship with Allah to the point of being too confident with him. We have to remember, guys, as Muslims who are aspiring to become true believers, we have to remember to humble ourselves before Allah and realize there are always consequences for our choices in life. You should never be so secure where you think that your choices in life do not lead to consequences. Again, look at Adam 
alayhi salam. Adam was one of the best of Allah's creation. He was a prophet of Allah. But Allah punished him for his failure to obey him. So what makes you think that Allah won't punish you? What makes you think that your relationship with Allah is so secure that he would never punish you? Also remember the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us of a woman who he saw in the hell fire because of her choices in regards to a cat. Supana Allah, a cat may appear to be just a trivial animal to you. But the simple fact that this woman abused that cat, Allah put her in hell. So again, never be overconfident in your relationship with Allah. And also the prophet told us of another woman, a woman who gives in charity, a woman who makes a lot of prayers at night, but all her good deeds will be lost because of her choice to gossip. So again, you know, we can never be overconfident in our relationship with Allah. And to understand this, becomes a great key to living and practicing Islam. Again, we have to remember, guys, we were created to worship Allah and our lives here on earth are simply tests to see if we are deserving of being close to him. We live our lives every day hoping to attain the ultimate goal of paradise. But we should never become so confident that that goal is in our hands. We want the goal to be within our reach. But never think it is within your grip. Because to think it to be within your grip means that you think the battle is won and you will thus stop fighting for it. The true believer knows that the battle for paradise never ends until the soul is pulled from the throat. So the true believer fights for that goal and he's never overconfident of victory until death comes to him. So again, guys, don't fall for this trap of shaitan. Never, ever, ever feel overly confident. In your relationship with Allah. <laughs>